Hi there, Trevor here. I'm going to go over setting up a network failover for Windows Server and FreeNAS using the Cisco Meraki switches in a stack configuration. So here I have my two Merakis in a stack. Uh, I have two MS350X, uh, 24Xs. Uh, and what I have here is I have uh, my Windows Server connected to 46 through the 10 gig link and through port 1 on dot 47. And on um, for the free NAS, I have a 1 gig link in port 1 and a 10 gig link on uh, 47 on port 24. Again, that's uh, FreeNAS has a one gig link on dot 46 on port one. And they're set up uh, through LACP uh, for a failover uh, link. Now, you'll see here that uh, the port is running LACP, but LACP has disabled the port. And that's because everything is running through the 10 gig. However, if that link were to fail, as I will demonstrate shortly, uh, the 1 gig will activate and pick up right where the 10 gig left off, just at a uh, slower speed, obviously. So here's uh, my FreeNAS device. So my FreeNAS device here, I have a uh, you go to storage view disk. I have uh, four four terabyte drives and three uh, sorry four three terabyte drives with a couple eighty gig SSDs. And here's my USB boot disk which runs FreeNAS. We go into storage here. And then I bring up the volume status. You can see here that I have uh, one ZVOL and four mirror nodes. And I have a cache and a Zillog. So when we go to our Merakis here, uh, we see that it's all green, and we'll bring up our Windows Server here. Now we're going to run a test on D. So I'm going to run this test on a 1 gig on our D drive, which is our iSCSI target. So you can see here, here's our iSCSI. It's connected. It's beginning to run. If I go to D, you will see our crystal mark. I can create. Oh, let's make a bitmap. Let's make a rich text document. You can see here our test is running. So we'll let that run and then we'll come back. All right, so we've run our tests and we see we're getting good throughput on our read write on our uh, 10 gig so now what I'm going to do is cause a failure in the 10 gig link by pulling the cable on the Meraki switch so here's our Merakis and we pulled the cable causing a failure You can see that the link went off and this link here with the uh, went from being disabled to enabled. And we'll see our remote desktop has been disconnected because it was going through the 10 gig link. So 
we failed over uh, through our secondary IP on our servers uh, because I don't have any DNS or anything set up, so I can't really route it that way. But you can see we have a fault with our 10 gig link, but our 1 gig link is working just fine. I'm still able to create folders, documents, and if I run this test, we'll see that it is just a single gig link. You can see here, throughput on this, that it is a single link gigabit connection. So we can see that our network is severely uh, limited with the uh, one gig link, but it works well as a failover. We pull the cable, automatically failed over. Very little uh, lag between uh, the pickup. And when we restore, uh, very same thing. Very little lag with the pickup. So if we were to lose a switch, we could continue to operate. And so to configure that, um, we have our network adapters here, but they are not teamed together. They're separate on Windows. However, they are teamed on our NAS setup. through our interfaces, uh, through the leg here. These are leg together using the same IP interface. That way then we don't lose the connection from the Windows server to the free NAS. And the failover pretty much happens automatically. As you know, the Meraki's are also set up as LACP, though they automatically disable the one gig links if the 10 gigs are in use. I hope you found this tutorial informative and useful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via Twitter, email, uh, comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can.